Hi guys, uh, this is my BMW X3 with the F25 chassis. About 10 months back, I had a lot of electrical and uh, electronic issues with this car. These issues were coming on, on its own and uh, it gets disappeared on its own without doing any repair or rectification. At times the steering controls were not working at all and it used to come back on its own and at times the horn also was not working and it used to come back on its own without any doing any rectification and over and above this uh, there was issue with the air conditioning the air conditioning was also not getting switched on however it used to come back on its own after some time and along with that uh, the low beam was working however the high beam was not working and all this while uh, there was no issue in driving the car as well as starting the car and while unlocking the door using the remote key only the light at the door handle used to glow but the door didn't unlock as well And the most annoying of all this is the wiper. It used to come on on its own and it was not just getting switched off, whatever you try, and you end up disconnecting the battery. Sometimes it used to get switched off on its own after a few wipes. So I thought uh, one of the connectors in this fuse box and the junction box electronics or the fuse is loose. Uh, because of which I am having this problem coming on and off intermittently. So I plan to remove this junction box electronics along with the fuse box, clean up everything, all these connectors and fuse and refit it back again to see if the problems go away or it remains there. To remove this fuse box, unscrew these two screws, one at the top and one at the bottom. These are not proper screws but but uh, just turn and lock mechanism. So if you, if you turn these anti-clockwise, then these screws will come out. To have access to this fuse box, first of all you need to remove the glove box to have a view. One screw is here and uh, the other one is up there so unlock both of them and disconnect the connectors so that you can pull out the fuse box as well as the junction box electronics
the fuse box is out and hanging loose now don't forget to take uh, some videos and photographs to avoid confusion of these connections during refitment so here is the junction box electronics as well as the fuse box so both are separated now so i have removed all the fuses also and i'm going to clean this using a carf cleaner and after this i'm going to reassemble everything and see if the problem still persists or the problem is resolved as i inspect this uh, fuse box there is no sign of loose connection or sparking so it seems to be all right anyway after refitting back we will come to know if the problems are still there or the problems are resolved after all these cleanings and all the refitting back the problem is not resolved so i took the vehicle to a vmw service and uh, replaced this junction box electronics the vehicle is working perfectly fine now so replacing this junction box electronics uh, costed me about uh, 45000 rupees here in india so if you open this plastic locks you can remove the cover of this junction box electronics and uh, you can see the various circuit boards which are inside this junction box so after removing the cover you will see this is the rear side of the jbe and this is the front side of the pcb of the jbe the white color small boxes are the relays and to my understanding one or more of these relays are not working as it's supposed to be so that is why i was having these problems off and on since uh, i could not find a person who can do card level repair of this jbe so i didn't go ahead with repairing this jbe instead i go ahead with replacing this junction box i have uh, driven this car for more than 10000 kilometers after replacing this and i never had the same similar issues again so thank you guys thank you for watching i hope uh, this video will answer most of your queries regarding the junction box electronics of a bmw x3 with the f25 chassis thank you guys thank you